In a time long ago, there was a kingdom called Galomir, a land where the people were happy, war was unknown, the children were polite and helpful at all times, and not just when mooching for chocolate. The monarch of the realm, King Peregrine, was wise and just, and all in all, a bit of a decent chap, fond of philosophy, literature, and pictures of kittens in bonnets. He was an enlightened ruler. But he had among his retinue an official court magician, a brilliant but unscrupulous man by the name of Zarok. Instead of confining himself to the horoscopes and balloon animals for which he was employed, Zarok began to conduct horrific experiments on the bodies of the dead. Of course, people often get quite sensitive about their deceased loved ones, so it wasn't long before the king found out and had the sorcerer banished from the land. Zarok skulked away into the wilderness and busied himself by perfecting his experiments, seething with rage and practicing his diabolically evil laugh. At last, with an army of demons at his command, he set off to bring Galumia under his foul dominion. The captain of the royal guard, Sir Daniel Fortescue, led the militia into battle against this unholy horde. Songs are sung to this day of how he spearheaded the charge deep into the accursed multitude, how the invaders fell before him like wheat before the scythe, and how at last, though mortally wounded, he fell upon the infernal sorcerer and destroyed him utterly. True, these songs don't have particularly catchy choruses, but people cared less about chart success in those days. And so it was that Daniel Fortescue went down in history, the hero of Galamia. And there came upon the land a time of peace, harmony, and quality wines at affordable prices. The tranquility was to last for a hundred years, but then the sorcerer returned.
Dan's Crypt. The best place to go if you're looking for a dead Dan. Oi, you, Fortescue! At last! Come, get up! We got things to do! Hey, hey! Easy, my friend. In my culture, we treat the guests with courtesy. Especially if they stop by for 100 years. Hmm. Who am I? My friend, you should feel honored. Usually the corpses, their skulls are filled with just the worms. Instead, you get I, Al-Zalam, glorious genie of the Sultan Prince Razim the Ribald, noble protector of... Hmm. You doubt me? I see it in your eye. Well, it is true. With genies, usually we are trapped within the lamps. That is bad. Very oily for the skin. But far worse, let me tell you, is when evil sorcerer tricks you, traps you inside skull of cowardly knight. Oh, the smell! It is mustier than a Saracen's jockstrap. You imply that I lie. In my culture, that would earn you 50 strokes of the cut. And we are allergic to cuts. So that is a terrible punishment. But fine, if you're too busy with the being dead, we just sit back and watch Zarok destroy Galomir once more. Oh, you remember Zarok at least? Yes, that madman is back from the exile. He has mastered the dark magics, has been waking the dead, turning good men evil. He turns this land bad quicker than tub of yak's cheese next to warm radiator. Hmm. Why are you back among the living? His magic! Or perhaps fate? Fate gives you chance to redeem yourself. Make amends for your cowardly death. Eh? Yes, yes! I was there that fateful day! I saw you hanging back, pretending to tie your bootlaces, and getting hit by first stray arrow! <laughs> ah, never believe on publicity! You just a big coward, buried as big hero with poor genie still trapped inside his head. Come on, I know you are a tough guy deep down. We can work with that. I will be guide. Maybe this time we truly defeat him. His men killed you. His magic cursed me. Together, we squash that creepy cockroach. Free me. Turn you into a real hero, eh? Well, 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 he's back. Old Sir Daniel Fortescue, the hero <coughs> of Gallomere. Rendered eyeless and lifeless by the first arrow. Rendered heroic by the mists of time. It's amazing what good PR can do. Now the fickle finger of fate has given him a second chance. A chance to make good his ignoble past. A chance to defeat Zarok and live up to the legend. If I had any breath, I wouldn't be holding it. Hmm. Oh. Anyway, many of my stony kind reside in Gallomere. We may be woken with a gentle nudge, not with a kiss. Please, don't try the kissing thing. We don't have affectionate natures. You got to study. I never had you down as a reader. You use a monocle, right?
A training room, eh? Nice decor. Early macabre. Oh, mind the lava done. Cremation's not your style, I think. That is a rune key done. Place it in the claw of the rune gate and open sesame! A beautiful map of Gallum. The graveyard. You wouldn't catch me digging graves in my yard. Spoils the ambience. I sense Zarok is very close by. Maybe at Cemetery Hill, which lies just beyond this graveyard. Ah, real shiny stabby sword. Let's try it out. <laughs> 